Hello friends from the past 2 weeks we have been discussing about loose teeth and the treatment options today is the third week and today in the third part of the video we are going to discuss about surgeries which your dentist might on regular basis suggest you is this surgery word really scary and you are are you confused you should go for the surgery you should not go for the surgeries so let's discuss about this surgeries what is this surgery exactly about when is it to be performed what food can i eat how much precaution should i take is there any alternative options so all these questions about the surgery of bone grafting and flap surgery will be answered today in this video so let's watch subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon Hello and a very happy morning to all of you. And here you are on my show Monday Mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shah. Friends, as I have told you that today we are going to discuss about the flap surgeries and the bone grafting surgery. So what is this surgery all about? The flap surgery. In this flap surgery, your gums are treated. What is exactly done? The dirt, the plaque or the calculus. What is this plaque and calculus? go back to the first video clear your basics and come back so the plaque and the calculus is removed this dirt from the roots that is from the deep inside tissue cleaning is done all the dirt which is lodged inside is removed the flap of the gum is taken off that is your gums are placed on each other and in between is a tooth which is there so a flap that is the portion of the gums is just opened up by cutting it and then inside everything is cleaned and the flap is again closed and stitches are given the stitches can be resolvable or non resolvable that is dissolving or non dissolving so that, uh, that will be decided according to the dentist so once the cleaning is done what happens is the pockets formed that is a dig or a pit formed by the dirt is all cleaned off and it helps faster healing of the gums and the tissues so your periodontal condition is all healed up okay the second thing is the bone grafting bone grafting is a regenerative procedure what exactly is regenerated of course the bone so a graft that is a bone from some sites which have different sites so this sites uh, the graft is obtained it is placed inside your gums so the bone is placed or it is added on and your original bone is made to regenerate why does uh, this artificial bone is required because your bone regenerating capacity is decreased the bone in the periodontal diseases has been become infected it has become diseased so its own capacity of regenerating of reproducing the bone has all gone so it needs to just take help and support from the new cells from the new bone which has been placed with this two old and new bone formed a new complete regeneration of bone is done and this is called as bone grafting there are various types of bone grafts or in uh, in different terms i can say there are various sites from where you can obtain this bone grafts the first is uh, autograft the autograft is nothing but self graft that is my own bone from whether like uh, let us consider an example of i have to uh, regrow the bone in this lower jaw okay so where will i uh, where can i take the bone from from my hip bone from my palatal region or various other sites where the bone is excess and i can easily obtain it so in this autograft the only disadvantage is you will have to undergo two surgeries that is one area where your bone is coming from and the other area where your bone is going to be placed okay so this is about autografts then next is allografts or homografts that is from other human being you can obtain a graft that is it uh, can be any donor who is who is willing to donate his bone for your surgery then the third is xenografts that is obtaining bone from other species like other animals uh with the advance of technology and science i would say that there is a fourth variant which is like artificial bone so nowadays many surgeons have started and many patients have also started opting for this artificial bone 
that is an artificial bone is produced you don't need a second site you don't need a donor for this and this artificial bone is made to regenerate your original bone and the new bone is formed hats off to science i would say now the next question comes when is the surgery required so as i have been discussing in the first two parts of the videos when you have severe periodontal conditions now what exactly is this periodontitis the plaque the calculus the dirt which is formed on the teeth it creates a depression a pocket in the gums this pocket uh, makes uh, or it creates more uh, dirt formation it creates passage for more lodgement of food and this causes inflammation it causes irritation to the gums this gums get inflamed they get red swollen they start bleeding and what happens next there is bone loss the bone gets reduced it starts decreasing in the level its capacity to fight decreases it's become it becomes diseased and infected the end result loose teeth so this is what we have been discussing in all our three parts of the video that loose teeth treatment but there are various stages and steps so when you reach the end step or the end stage where it is just before the removal of the teeth what can you still do to protect or prevent your teeth from falling off this surgery so when is this required when you have severe periodontal condition this is the answer now do you have any alternative option for it i would say uh, say that this is better to ask to your dentist because looking at your condition on various regions which are affected on various teeth that are infected or affected your dentist must have suggested you this treatment so you better ask your dentist that you would like to opt for a conservative treatment option what is this conservative treatment option is you would like to go step by step and not directly jump to the surgery so uh, if it is really avoidable and you have time your dentist thinks that scaling cleaning or just splinting can help you prevent this periodontal condition and if he thinks that you can maintain it in a really good condition he will definitely help you to have the other treatment options also but if he or she thinks that no a surgery is a must in this condition or in this process then you should just believe your dentist and go ahead with that now uh, the next question is what are the things that i should avoid or what are the food that i can have so after the surgery for at least next 10 to 15 days you should have semi solid food where the food is not too hot and it is not uh, making your teeth uh, to work or uh, muscles to work more so semi solid food or liquid food is a right option the uh, too spicy food is also to be avoided and also make sure that you have warm water and salt rinses done at least 3 to 4 times in a day then from outside you can give cold compresses like uh, take ice or ice bag ice pack all these things can be used to give a soothing or a relieving pain uh, for this area then along with that the doctor will also give you a few medications like medications would be painkillers antibiotics and maybe an antacid or a few other drugs which you have to take that would help the healing process also do not try any home remedies to heal this area after the surgeries automatically a good healing will happen do definitely keep a follow up a weekly and a 15 days follow up and maybe after a month also with your dentist that is going to be very beneficial um other things that you should avoid is smoking and drinking alcohol friends smoking and alcohol causes more uh, bleeding procedure to happen so if you have all these habits for at least a month or a two i would say for a lifetime but at least after the procedure for two months you should avoid this so you cannot smoke or drink after the procedure you cannot sip anything like uh, if you have to have a juice or milk or some liquid then you should directly drink it with the glass the sipping or the suction which is created because of the straw causes or can cause bleeding do not drink too hot things why because that also causes bleeding the next question after uh, even after you agree to do the surgery is doctor dukhega nahi na is it really painful don't worry my friends this treatment is completely done under anesthesia 
that is you are made to partially sleep and then the treatment is done the treatment does not really pain after the treatment does it pain or do i really have all that painful things i have to bear that no because the medicines that are given to you will take care of the pain post the anesthesia is reduced or the effect of anesthesia has been reduced uh the next question comes up is how long will uh, the surgery run it is hardly a surgery of 45 minutes to 1 hour yes your cooperation is very much important in this step so after this uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour the next question that come up uh, comes up is how long will the healing procedure take up so for the uh, 24 hours you are uh, have to take the maximum care it will take from maximum 24 hours to 21 days to heal completely so for the first 24 hours it is very crucial and the next 21 days is a good maintenance that is going to help its healing now uh, can i brush on this area so for the 10 to 15 days you should avoid brushing in the areas where it has been operated but the areas which have not been operated which were healthy to maintain them in the good state you can brush in that areas also do ask your dentist which toothpaste can i use and for how long am, am i not supposed to brush after 10 to 15 days you can have soft bristles brush of uh, oral b or colgate company of good brand i would say this soft bristles brush would help you soft cleaning and pr prevent bleeding also make sure that you do not cause injury to the gums in this process of healing now the most important question how long will this surgery stay in effect or how much is the success rate of this surgery how much beneficial is this does this really uh, is helpful will it really cause regeneration and all these questions our answer is one the surgery is very much helpful the surgery is a regeneration it will help you to save your teeth but but maintenance from your side is very much important so is it really difficult to maintain no it is not just brushing twice daily having good and healthy food not eating sweets sugar food and having good clean up of your gums keeping follow up with the dentist all this 3 to 4 steps is very much important and you can easily follow it so for this i am attaching a video on delhi dental care do definitely watch that videos on how you can floss you can brush and use a mouthwash all this basic three things all this normal routine hygiene that anyone and everyone should follow please follow that and you can have a lifelong good result of the treatment so now i think of i have answered all the questions related to the surgery but if you still have any questions do definitely mention it in the comment section below i'll definitely answer them for you do like comment share and subscribe to this channel dr mansi shah share it with the friends who have or ha you can see are undergoing periodontal conditions or have a condition of loose teeth and this surgeries can help them friends if you share this video you can definitely save someone's teeth and if you save someone's teeth you can save someone's life so keep smiling and stay healthy stay orofit thank you